What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Lenovo finally released a GPU driver update or will be releasing a GPU driver update that appears for the Lenovo Legion Go finally and also a chipset driver, power management driver to go along with that. And we'll have to see how it pans out. This doesn't bring us all the way up to date on the driver, but it does add a few months newer to our date. And we'll get in and take a look at it. And this also isn't popping up yet on the US support site or in Legion space and I'll show you that as well. But we are currently sitting here on the original OEM driver. I've been recording uh, gameplay stuff for Rivals and PoE and stuff. But this was an April dated driver that we got in May from Lenovo. And we've had this the whole time all year on this device unless you've sideloaded something else, which we'll get into as well. But I checked Legion Space and went into the updates and nothing is showing up here yet for me. And I got a bunch of people message me that this was out, which is why I went looking. But nothing showing up yet here, which is where I'd rather get the official update. But I did want to take a look, so I continued on. It's also not going to be showing up on the U.S. site. And I didn't see it on any other sites, only on the China website. And this happens a lot with Lenovo, where they'll drop everything over there first and then it kind of rolls out to space and the other websites. But because I am curious and want to get into it, I am downloading the chipset driver, the VGA driver, and the energy management driver, all dated for December 6 here, 2024. So that's the three new drivers that we've got that we'll be installing here on the Legion Go and checking out. And as a side note, there's a new driver from AMD as well for the 7840U to side load here. And I'll be doing a video on that in the future once we get through some of the rest of these game tests. But anyways, continuing on with this, we are gonna go ahead and install all three of these parts and try them here on the Legion Go. First, I'm gonna install the new chipset drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up, just do a quick install here. This isn't really a full guide on how to install this stuff, but pretty simple, I just download it, I'm going through and installing everything. The only thing that might get cumbersome is the GPU driver, if you have any issue with that. But once we have that installed, we're gonna go ahead and do the system uh, power management that we downloaded here, get that one done. And then we're gonna do the final one, which is gonna be the VGA driver uh, for us next. So once we have these two done, I'm gonna go ahead and do a restart so that those chipset drivers and everything are good to go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install the VGA driver. Now, the thing with this is you can do the a DDU first and remove all the old drivers if you want to. I've tried this both ways because I was having trouble with PoE, which I will show you, Path of Exile 2. And so I wound up doing a DDU and a factory restore and retrying to see if it fixed the issue, if maybe I had a bug or something, and it didn't. So with or without DDU, I experienced the same performance and stuff here with this driver. So up to you what you wanna do with that. But anyways, install this here on the Legion Go. I've done this a couple of times now and uh, tested it out. And it doesn't take too long, a couple of minutes, and it does eventually finish up and kind of rotate you back to your landscape and everything. It did a pretty good job of just getting installed for me. Again, I had to do this a couple of times with my testing and trying to prove it out. So I did this with and without DDU and with and without a system restore full factory reset. Now, once that driver is installed, I'm gonna go into the Microsoft store and look for updates because there's always an AMD Adrenaline app update when you update the driver. So you need that to be able to uh, use the app and all that kind of stuff. So we'll go in there and get that downloaded and we'll get it opened up here and we'll look at the new version we have from Lenovo here. So get that popped up. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this until it comes out officially everywhere. I just wanted to check it out. 24, 10, 30, so 7, 16, 2024 20, from April 22nd. So we gained a few months there, three months. We are still behind a little bit, but to be fair, the Asus ROG Allies official drivers are August. Uh, so we're not that far off there on those. So a little catch up, not as far as I would like to see. I definitely want to see better. And we still don't have AFMF working here. Even if we did have the first version working, you really wouldn't want it. The second version tends to work better. So we'll be looking at side-loaded drivers later on in other videos. But for this, it was interesting because I said I had trouble with Path of Exile 2. And CPU usage would get weird and performance would get really weird sometimes. When it wasn't, it would actually perform a little better. But from time to time, I would get this spike in my CPU usage with this game that would really hurt my performance by a lot. And I didn't think there was anything going on with more shader compilation or anything. I went out of this game, came back in, played it, came back in again. I did this repeatedly and again also did this with different uh, times of installing the driver and repeating everything and this kind of kept happening to me. So kind of interesting here. I didn't experience it with any other game yet and over in Dragon Age for the most part performance either matched or was slightly better. 
It just kind of depended on where I was at and what I was doing. So obviously when you have driver updates, some games get worse, some get better, some get fixed, some break. It's just the nature of things. Um, but with this one, I think most games will do better. And from what I'm seeing with Rivals and Dragon Age, and I've since played a couple other games, it's doing pretty well on this driver. And they may even have some things they change before they release it everywhere else or into space. But it holds its own here pretty well and does okay against the other driver. We'll have to see how it does against the new AMD driver when we sideload that uh, in the future. But yeah, I think it's just going to depend on what game. The weird things with PoE, hopefully I'll get straightened out. We'll see what's going on with that. Hopefully no other games really get wonky like that one uh, did on me. But yeah, for the most part, I think this driver will match or... Uh, beat performance. We'll just have to see what it does in more games. But I only had so much time to jump in, and those were the games I had on the go. It's not giving me any trouble in Rivals. I've been using a new driver uh, to test this. I'll be getting a video up on this for um, the Legion Go soon and for the Ally X. But yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to try that yet and get those drivers off that website from the uh, China site from Lenovo. I would wait till they come out in Legion Space or at least on your local uh, region website so it's a little more official and go through the process of installing them then but hey i wanted to take a look and see what it's like here a little hit and miss but i'll be testing it in some more games anyways guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one